When you're cycling, you're wearing a helmet. So if there's an accident, you've got a bit of a dilemma. You may need to remove the helmet. Now, in most cases with a cycling accident, you would leave the helmet on. Maybe just rele release the straps, um, undo them or cut the straps. But you can leave the helmet in, in place and stabilize it. But in some other instances, you may need to remove it because of breathing problems or if you have to put a collar on uh, to support their spine. So what we're going to do now is show an example, uh, having the first aider who's in control and he's also got hold of a bystander to come and help. Now they're not first aid trained, so the first aider must give it direct instructions to the person assisting them. Okay, so I'm going to hold his head stable via the helmet at the moment. What I'm going to need you to do first yep. is undo the clip under his chin and it should just pop, that's it. And if you pull the straps out to the side so they're clear of his cheeks, and then what I'm going to need you to do with your right hand is you are going to make a bit of a V-shape with your hand and grip onto his cheeks and with your other hand underneath his head and you've got a nice wide grip underneath his head because you're going to end up taking the weight of his head in a few seconds once I take the helmet off. Is that all okay? Yep. So when I take the helmet off in a sec, you're going to feel the weight of his head and you just need to hold on to it for a few seconds while I change position and then I'll take the weight back from you. Okay. Is that all okay? Yep. Okay, so helmet is coming off and keep him as still as you can for a few seconds and I'm going to adjust to a comfortable and stable position and I have now got the head, you can take your hands off. Right, so I'm now keeping the casualty's head still and stable. I've got to stay here until the emergency services arrive that we called earlier. Uh, could you go and wait at the edge of the park for them and point them in the right direction, please? In this case, the helmet is a typical mountain climber's helmet or possibly a workman's helmet. So we now have the helmet and therefore the casualty's head still and stable. We're going to need, in the first instance, to undo the chin strap. So can you undo the clips for me, please? And they should just squeeze together, that's it. And then if you pop the straps away, and if you, with your right hand, take a sort of open V-shaped grip with your finger and thumbs and hold onto his cheeks to keep his cheeks stable, and with your other hand underneath, nice wide grip around the back of his head. Now, at the moment, the casualty is stable and he is breathing okay now that we've taken the chin strap off. However, if we were needing to collar our casualty, the helmet would now need to come off. So, we will continue as if we were going to collar our casualty. So, I'm going to take the helmet off in a few seconds. So, you will get the weight of the head. Is that okay? Yep. So, helmet is coming off. And there is a slight roll with this helmet that is required to get it off without moving his head because of the lower support at the back of his head. And I will adjust my position and take the head back so you can now let go. And I have the weight of our casualty's head. He is stable and we will wait for the person who is going to put the collar on, which will usually be the ambulance service. With this type of helmet, which is typically an open face motorsports type helmet, we're going to need to do a slightly different procedure to remove it. So I will hold and stabilise the helmet to begin with. My bystander is going to undo the chin strap and with this one there is a red button that is pushed away from the chin and then you can remove the chin strap. Some varieties of helmets have clips, buckles, velcro lock backs there are various ways of chin straps fitting on these type of helmets we're now going to need the bystander to help stabilize the head so with your right hand can you open grip so you've got your thumb and first finger onto the casualty's cheeks so you support in the front of his face and with your left hand support around the back of his head as high up as you can get okay all right with that yep so i'm going to gradually roll off the helmet a little way so you can then move your hand up to get full support of his head yep. okay with this type of helmet we can start to splay the sides of the helmet so it makes removal a little bit easier so i'm going to take it off a few centimeters mm -hmm. so that you can then move your hand up okay so i'm going to pause yep. you move your hand up yep. and we're then going to start to roll the back of the helmet 
And again, I'm going to pause. You move your hand up a little bit. Yep. And this time it's going to come off completely yep. so you'll get the weight. Mm -hmm. We're then going to roll the back of the helmet up, the back of the casualty's head, so that it has minimal movement. I'm going to adjust my position, take the weight of the head, and I've got the weight. You can let go. And then if you could go and wait for the ambulance at the gates of the park yep. and send them over, please.